This week, they enacted legislation that will prohibit the sale, not just the sale, but the use of combustion engine powered leaf blowers, blowers as an important step to addressing environmental noise and health concerns in our community. Nancy, I know that barn door, the horse has been stolen out of the barn and this top, this is already gone, but the argument has long been the gas powered leaf blowers cause a, an environmental hazard. They're hardly used in reality. It, they're, they're used a fraction of the time. What do you well, think? Well, for up to me, I would ban them all. Uh, what's wrong with the rake is my view. Um, this noise is outrageous. It's terrible. It's disruptive. But that's my personal rant. Um, you know, look, if uh, something like this had been passed any place in the country, I think it's been passed in a variety of other jurisdictions. This particular council is going to introduce it and adopt it here. I just hope they don't get to a, um, a pressure washers, which I just, just discovered, and are wonderful devices for cleaning things, and you need a lot of power, and they're noisy. So I shouldn't have said that, uh, because I th some of them are gas-powered as well, uh, and uh, that is the challenge here in Montgomery County. Our people so you should be allowed to power. use a gas-powered power washer if you want to, Nancy, and they're going to come after you now that they know. Now that they I know, I know. It's, it, I, I think we should just issue a, a rake to everybody and say, get over it and get some exercise. We, you know, I, I, would, I tried to use a, a push lawnmower uh, a few years ago and I almost killed myself. Uh, I couldn't do it. I'm so fat and out of shape. Oh. Stacey, not only does the county want to take away the freedom of choice on land, on lawn, on lawn maintenance equipment, but they're going to take your tax dollars to pay me to replace it. Does that make any sense? Well, yes and no. First of all, Casey, they're not going to be giving out an abundance of money. They have a $300,000 line item in the budget for as grants. And so that means that the first 1,000 people for the next three years that apply for a grant will get $100. But those electric leaf blowers cost between $100 and $1,000. And then you have to buy the accessory equipment. Oh, and the backup batteries. So this is a very expensive proposition, not just for the homeowner, the average homeowner, but if you're a professional commercial landscaper, your costs are going to go up five yeah. times to replace that equipment. And that, of course, is going to get passed on to the consumer. And if those commercial landscapers can't afford to pay for that aspect of it, what's going to happen? They lay off employees. When employees get laid off, that's going to hurt the economy. So all around, this is a bad idea. I look at it as a grudge cudgel. You can use this against your neighbors if you don't like them. And Casey, I told you last night, the simplest way to get rid of this environmental nuisance is to get rid of the gas bags on the county council. <laughs> well, uh, we, we, uh, now that Nancy's not, no longer on the county council, I can, we can all agree with you.